yo what's up everyone and welcome back to another video in this one i'm going to show you guys how to bake a high poly mesh onto a low poly in substance painter you could do it in blender as well but it's kind of useless for roblox purposes because you can't really texture in roblox unless you're hand painting but we're not doing that and the blender process overall is a lot more complicated than the substance method so we're just going to stick to substance painter for this tutorial and how this basically works is that you have a high poly mesh this one for example right here has 5.6 million triangles quick shout out to clouds for clicking this up so i don't have to go through the pain of doing this um so now you have this 5.6 million triangle mesh and you're like how do i get this into a game well mainly i'm working for roblox so in roblox terms you can't really take this into roblox if you give this to your commissioner they will fire you on the spot so how would you kind of get this to go low poly without these people spamming like decimate on this and being like hold up we got all the detail here let's crank this down and crash our blender yeah my blender is crashing so do, do not drop the decimate on it that's gonna completely ruin everything so we want this model right here with all the detail on it onto a lower poly mesh and we do that through a process called baking what that basically does is that it takes all the detail information from a high poly and you transfer that over to a low poly via texture map if we were to ask google about this this is what it kind of gives us the name of process about saving information related to a 3d mesh into a texture file and that's basically the normal map once you take that into roblox one very common misconception a lot of people have is that you don't have to have a sculpted mesh as your high poly. It could be anything that you want to bake that's extra detail that you could bake onto a lower poly version of that mesh. You could go ahead and bake it. So again, it doesn't have to be limited to a sculpted mesh. A lot of people do higher level subdies onto a lower level subd. That's a really common practice you see in the gaming industry. So now once you do have this high poly mesh, you want to create yourself a low poly mesh. There's plugins to do that. The process is called retopology. I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that is a bunch of tutorials out there which what you basically do is create a low poly that goes over the high poly something like this so if i was to go to edit mode you can see it's like kind of outlining the mesh oh god i'm lagging and this one only has 3.8k as you guys can see it just outlines it very well it sits on it perfectly and you want to make sure your low poly is directly inside the high poly if you guys watch retopology tutorials it's all out there um i might do one in the future but for now we're just going to go over baking and uh this is basically the setup so you got the high poly mesh and then you got the low poly now once you have the low poly you want to make sure the low poly has a texture so we got this one right here it has its own texture let me just just rename that big rock okay now once you have this you want to make sure you have the low poly one uv edited so if you go uv editing i already got this one done or cloud did it for me actually um but we got this low poly mesh uv unwrapped has its own texture and it's ready to be exported the low the high poly doesn't need any of that doesn't need uv doesn't need texture and uh all you gotta really do is make sure you name them correctly so this one is called rock high and this one is called rock low i do already have something called rock low in here so i'm gonna have to fix this up real quick just like that. So you got the high poly mesh under called underscore high. Then you got the low poly mesh called underscore low. And once you have them overlapping, some people use shrink wrap, shrink wrap modifier to kind of get that accurate. And what you got to do is export the low poly as one, name it rock underscore low, and then export the high poly as one and call that rock underscore high. Make sure they have the same name, but just the only difference is going to be the underscore low and underscore high. Then we can open up Substance Painter. And once you guys are in here, make sure you guys select the Roblox Surface Appearance template on Substance Painter. If you guys don't have it, update your Substance Painter. Uh, what this basically does is it takes all the height information. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be doing something really cool and you need this template for it to actually work so it takes the height information opacity information all that stuff and it just smacks it onto the four maps that roblox support so it's really nice and make sure you guys import the low poly mesh once you guys select over here select the file import the low poly mesh sure all this stuff is set off and then we're gonna press okay once we have that we have this really ugly looking mesh right it's 3.8k triangles there's nothing crazy it just looks absolute garbage but now we're going to come over to this croissant right over here if you guys have an older version i think the logo looks kind of different uh what we're going to do over here is we're going to quickly change output size to 4k if your pc is kind of low end go with 2k but if you guys want maximum quality up here i would recommend going with 4k now right over here this little file bo uh, box or button over here it says high definition meshes we're going to press this and then you're going to find the high poly mesh and then you're going to let that in here it's going to take a quick second to load that in 
All right, there we go. Now, once you guys load that in, you guys may or may not have these little red spots. If you guys do, you can control that with this. You guys do not want to have any red spots, by the way. To cover that up, you max frontal distance. We're just going to crank that up a bit. About like something like what 0 0.2, I think works. Again, this is kind of dependent on your model. This one works for this. If you guys have something else, um then you guys might not have to crank it up this high so something like this where we have no red sticking out i think this is kind of fine now i do not have an id nor world space normal so i'm just take that off it doesn't really make a difference you guys could keep that on but it's just going to speed up the rendering process so once you have this we're going to go ahead and press bake selected texture but you guys have this stuff i'm not sure i haven't touched any of this it was just kind of there for me um but like if you don't have any of these options on make sure you take them on and we're going to go ahead and bake. And there we go. That same mesh that had 3.8k triangles now has all of this information on it. And that's all done through the normal map right over here. If you look at this normal map, we'll be exporting this to Roblox. But this right here carries all of that information of detail and puts it onto the low poly. So now we can go ahead and just texture this. If I was to just really quickly throw something onto this. And just like that, we kind of, I just throw it on like an ambient and curvature, nothing too crazy. But you can see it carries on all of that information onto this version of the mesh and that kind of that's basically the process for baking it's really simple and honestly i i've personally stayed away from this for such a long time until i realized how easy it was and honestly it's something really fun you can just go crazy with details go crazy with the triangles and then just take an extra 20 30 minutes to make the retopology and bake it onto the low poly and you get to transfer all that crazy detail onto this there is one quick example i want to show you guys of not using a sculpted mesh and it's these katanas which i recently made now if you look at the actual mesh you would realize that like okay there's nothing going on really if we look at this stuff triangle count only 300 you wouldn't really be expecting anything crazy to be happening with this but if we were to actually go into texture view you can see that there's a lot going on here so i created this this was one of my first katana straps i just kind of wanted to test out baking without sculpting and you guys can see it from side view it's really flat but if you look at it from almost any other view it has a lot of detail again this is edit mode right over here it's the exact same mesh so what i basically did i sub deed these little straps i i made the high poly mesh basically with just sub d no sculpting and then we baked it onto a flat cylinder in substance painter and that's basically it that's honestly all the process it says um, that's baking right there and to export it into roblox you would just press export textures i'm guessing you guys would know that if you follow my other tutorials um this rock that i was actually working on right here in the next tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to use opacity and emission maps in roblox and then i'll be open sourcing this model in that video as well okay so as i was editing i kind of realized that 90 percent of the time when you follow tutorials like these your mesh sort of looks like poop when you end up baking it and it takes some practice to get perfect bakes on your first try so i'm just going to go ahead and cover some really quick troubleshoots some problems very common issues people have with their bakes one of them will be on the low poly mesh make sure you guys check on your face orientation make sure there's no red faces red faces go inside blue faces go outside if you guys do have any red faces outside they should go in there and flip the normals see right now i have a red face i will press on that alt n is the key bind for that you guys can also go up to here somewhere over here i think yeah mesh normals flip or the key bind is just alt n flip make sure you guys have no red faces and then make sure you guys have it uh make sure it sits perfectly on the high poly mesh even if it's a little bit off like this then you will have baking issues it's got to be bounding it perfectly in some issues you could have stuff like this like this didn't really give me a big of an issue even though it should have been fixed um but stuff like this goes pretty fine my blender just crashed holy okay we're back um second issue would be make sure you guys have a separate texture if you guys are taking like separate meshes make sure you guys have a separate texture on that on the low poly mesh you guys do not need one on the high poly as we discussed earlier but sometimes people bake like multiple meshes at the same time um so make sure you guys have your your textures organized another thing would be for uv editing make sure your uvs are spaced out make sure you guys have nothing uh overlapping on top of each other so right now i have these overlap just because the mesh is mirrored on the right and left side um but if you guys have stuff like this if stuff, stuff gets selected then that means you have stuff like overlap if i was to do this just for demonstrating 
I was to overlap this and then select overlap, it would tell you that these faces are overlap. Just fix that. And those are honestly the biggest two issues we get. Other than that, you would have to adjust it inside the Substance Painter cage settings, which I also showed earlier in this video. But if you guys do have any more issues, let me know in the comment section below or join the Discord. And uh, hopefully we can solve your issues there. See you guys in the next one.